Okay. Here is the tier list. You have the Marvel Ultimate list, all movies and series tier list maker. Also, if there's any missing, please let me know. I should also be able to see as well. Uh, we're going to zoom in a little bit here, but we have every Marvel movie and show that has been put out in this world. Thank God for Marvel. Thank God for Kevin Feige. And thank God to the GOAT himself, Stan motherfucking Lee. Okay? So today, we're going through, we're going to make a Marvel tier list. And I'm going to be completely honest about this shit. I, I might be biased in terms of a lot of movies, but I'm going to try my best to not be biased because Marvel is my thing. Okay? So, we have, of course, the S, A, B, C, all the way down to D. And then we have unreleased or haven't seen yet. And what's this? We're going to go ahead and actually get rid of that one. And then this one we'll do haven't seen. The start of everything. Oh, it even puts it in order. We got Iron Man, the original, the classic Iron Man. That is an S tier movie. Immediately S tier. That start with Iron Man being the first MCU movie that they posted was phenomenal. It was a great start. We didn't know what the hell was happening at the time. We're like, oh shit. This is awesome. Iron Man, I was too young as well. When did this even come out? I was seven years old when this shit came out. Definitely S tier. I'm not biased. I am biased, but I'm not biased. I'm not being biased. The original Incredible Hulk. A great movie, by the way. A great movie. Still waiting on that uh, new uh, Incredible Hulk movie with Mark Ruffalo. In terms of the Hulk movie, this one hit really good. This was a very good movie. Abomination in it was fantastic. With that being said... I loved it. Everything about that just screamed Hulk, and it was a great movie, and it's pretty hard to top a Hulk movie like that. So, Mark Ruffalo, we're waiting on that. Uh, I know you have a son now. Iron Man 2. If I were to say best villain in terms of Iron Man 1 and Iron Man 2, I'm going to have to say Iron Man is 1 is better because it was literally his teacher. His boss was, you know, he worked with his dad. He, he knew Tony as, like, a son. And he turned bad, and he was in some badass motherfucking armor, too. Like, he was, that was a badass villain. Iron Man 2's villain is also really cool. That dude, uh, the Russian dude, I forgot his name, uh, with a little peacock, is an A-tier movie. Iron Man 1 surpasses that. I loved Iron Man 2, but I wouldn't say... I can't be biased, either. I would put, I would put a lot of these at S. Thor, the original Thor. This shit was awesome. Thor, they did amazing with Thor. This was a great movie. I loved it. Loki, first time we're seeing Loki as well. It was fantastic. Next, we have the Avengers. The first original Avengers ever that we've had in the MCU. We're going to put that at an S tier as well. That movie was great. Iron Man 3. Okay, so in Iron Man 3, the villain in Iron Man 3 was the, uh, that nerdy guy that was trying to be able to work with Tony Stark. But I'm also going to give Iron Man 3 a A tier. Um, it just doesn't hit as well for an S tier for me. Thor Dark World with the Dark Elves. I think the Dark Elves were made very well. I loved, uh, I do not, I see, I've been so long since I watched this shit. I forgot the name of the main elf. My favorite per villain in that show, though, was that big one. There was that big elf that was in jail with, uh, Loki at that one across the way. And he had that, um, he had this thing with him where he crushed it and it turned him into like this fiery character. Oh my God, that was so badass. I I, I love that shit. This was a great movie, but again, I'm going to be, I'm going to be picky and actually try not to be biased. Uh, the first Thor was better. It was a great movie. I'm going to have to keep Dark World at A. Captain America Winter Soldier is an S tier movie. We have Bucky Barnes. He's bad. We had Nick Fury as well a lot in that, and I love that shit. Next, Guardians of the Galaxy. S tier. The first Guardians of the Galaxy was phenomenal. The music, phenomenal. The, the heroes in it, just fantastic. The comedy, amazing. Chris Pratt did great as well. He's a great Star-Lord. I don't think, honest to God, you can find another a better Star-Lord. I think Chris Pratt is the best Star-Lord. Avengers Age of Ultron. S tier. Oh my God, Ultron was so badass. It was so crazy. Uh, it was great. Bringing the fucking whole city into the air and having to bring the people off of it at the same time and save everybody before they had to bring that shit down and that's the only way they could destroy it. Bro, Ultron was so badass too. There was so many badass moments in that. Age of Ultron, S tier. Ant-Man, original Ant-Man. Okay, this is different compared to what we've had so far. 
uh, the original Ant-Man, we had the Wasp. Excuse me, not the Wasp. Yellow Jacket. We had Yellow Jacket. Uh, his former business partner who turned bad. Who we see as Modoc. That's happened in the future Ant-Man, which we get to see him again. So that was W. Going to have to say, though, I'm going to keep this at an A tier. It was a good movie. I loved it a lot. It's fun. A fun watch. I can watch it again over and over and over again. It was a great start to Ant-Man. But in terms of what movies have hit like the hardest, this was A tier. W fight and Kang, by the way. That was a W fight. That was, that was not easy. Avengers Civil War. S tier. That is an S tier movie. This shit had, had me going through so many emotions. Excuse me. Did I say Avengers Captain America? My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Captain America Civil War. Not knowing what side to choose. Love Tony. But I love Captain America. One side was going for a good side. And the other side was also going for a good side. It was tough. But in the comments, what team did you actually go for? I did go for Tony Stark's team. I did. Just because, like, following the rules of the, the government in terms of what they had to do, they were trying to shut them down and weren't able to uh, save people just because it was the way they were doing it. They were killing people on the side as well, but being a hero is not easy. The very first Doctor Strange. When this shit came out, it blew my mind. S tier. Everything about Doctor Strange was wild. This is the first one, correct? Yes, Doctor Strange. And Doctor Strange is a badass character. Badass is going to be used a lot during this tier list. I think they did really good of showing the fact that how he got his powers, what he needed to do to get his powers, and the fact that it came naturally was even cooler. Like, this shit was just so, like, natural. He, like, he, he pushed himself to get those powers. That was super cool. And the fact that he went from getting his injury in that Lambo, RIP to that Lambo, that was nice. To what he had to go through to become Doctor Str to become Doctor Strange it was amazing. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think Volume Two they had to fight his dad, Ego. That's what that's what his name was. I liked the movie. I, I did like the movie again. Guardians of the Galaxy. It it's a good movie. I don't think anything tops the first Guardians of the Galaxy right away. But the music again was phenomenal. It was a fun watch. Uh, but I'm not going to say it beats these top up here. It is an A-tier movie for me. Spider-Man Homecoming. The first time we see Tom Holland in his own movie and with Tony Stark. I'm going to go ahead and put this at an S-tier. This was a great start for Tom Holland Spider-Man. In terms of showing the best teenager Spider-Man, I'm going to have to say... I'm going to have to say Tom Holland was the best. In terms of the youngest that... Like, actually felt like a teenager. I'd say Tom Holland, Andrew, and then Tobey Maguire. Thor, Ragnarok. This movie was great. This actually was a good movie. I'm going to put this at an S tier. It is better than Thor, The Dark World. Thor, Ragnarok was badass as fuck. I don't remember their sister. When she had to revive that big monster thing that busted out of the bottom of Asgard that was down in the bottom of the depths in jail down there, wherever it was, because he was in that... If you remember, they had to use the uh, cube or something, I think, to revive it out of the, the head that it had. And it, oh my God. Hel Helena? Helena. Was it Hella or Helena? I think it is Hella. You're correct. I think it is Hella. She was badass. That movie was fun. Okay, next Black Panther, without a doubt, one of my favorite, if not favorite, Marvel movies. We have Black Panther. Woo! Woo! Rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman. Everyone in the chat, everyone in the comments of this video, rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman. This movie, one of the best villains as well. Killmonger is one of the best villains, anti-heroes, whatever you want to call him. He was just mad because, you know, family business. You know what I mean? But Killmonger had it, bro. Michael B. Jordan, I'm not dick riding right now. I might be. I, I might be. I might be. But, hey, Michael B. Jordan, you got it, bro. I love you, man. Hey, Killmonger was... One of the best acting. Hey, Chadwick and Michael B. Jordan had it in that movie. Black Panther was one of the best movies that Marvel has ever made. Avengers Infinity War. S tier on my mother. Infinity War and in, in Endgame. S tiers. These two had the best beginning and ending. These two are amazing. I was crying and screaming and... Uh, yelling and everything possible in this one getting goosebumps and at the same time when this one came out it was even doubled when the T'Challa came out when 
fucking Doctor Strange did his did his thing, and the first person that walk out was T'Challa. Oh my God! I swear to God, I cried. I swear to God, I cried. On top of that, Ant Man and the Wasp. Let's say I'm supposed to put one Ant Man on top. If I'm supposed to put one Ant Man on S tier and one Ant Man on A tier, I'd say Ant Man one is definitely better. But Ant Man, Ant Man and the Wasp had a better credit ending credit scene. I'm not gonna go through the movies and talk about ending credit scenes either, because there's so much. And I do not remember what each ending credit scene was, but I do remember specifically what Ant-Man and the Wasp was because it had to do with in between Endgame and Aven uh, Infinity War. But I'm going to keep Ant-Man and the Wasp at eight tier. Both Ant-Mans are great movies, but they're not S tier for me. Captain Marvel. Okay. I'm going to be completely honest with Captain Marvel. Okay. I, Captain Marvel is badass as fuck. She, you know, her, her powers are OP as hell. Um, her story is pretty crazy, actually. I, I, I like the movie. I do like the movie. Nick Fury's beginning in that. That's awesome. Seeing, like, how Nick Fury got started was awesome as well. I think Captain Marvel, personally, is a B-tier movie. I'm gonna be honest. I, I still could watch it. I still could watch it multiple times. There was nothing, like, insanely crazy about it. I felt, personally, it was a little slow. Actually, you know what? B is still pretty high. B is something I would not watch again okay he is something i would not watch again let's change that captain marvel i would watch again but it's definitely not even close to any of the best okay next spider-man far from home all three of the spider-mans are really good homecoming far from home and no way home no way home was crazy no way home was crazy i'm gonna say far from home though with um mysterio i'm gonna say eight here i'm gonna say eight here it doesn't beat homecoming but far from home is really good with mysterio i like that shit a lot and it, it was it was good but it does not beat Homecoming. The first Homecoming, Tom Holland's first movie was really good. This one was also very good, but it just does not beat that for me. WandaVision. Okay, we're getting into the shows now. Very, very, very slow start. We were like, this is like what happened right after the blip. I was very confused with this. Um, but in terms of like tw uh, plot twists and stuff slowly starting to come out, it was interesting. It was very interesting. But I'm going to say that it is a, beer t a B tier. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Honest to God is an s tier show this was a good show in falcon and the winter soldier we had a couple different villains um we had flag smasher which was the uh terrorist group that um we had to try to stop and help and make her realize that this isn't okay and all that um that side of things was very interesting it was cool uh you had zemos um baron zemos with the the uh purple mask i loved him in this show he actually had a lot of comedy in the show and we were able to at least like partner with him and do some shit with him. So it was cooler seeing his side of things. And of course, we saved him in Civil War, uh, which he, he was the reason why everything started was because of Zemos. Uh, he was super cool in that. He was funny. And then the other one is the wannabe hand-me-down Captain America that decided to just kill somebody. I think he's actually going to be part of the Thunderbolts is what he's going to be part of. Which, uh, by the way, Bucky is supposed to be in that. And I'm not quite sure how I feel about that because he's better than that. So I'm not quite sure what happens between what we saw him in Falcon and Winter Soldier and in the future to make him want to go to Thunderbolts. The whole show, obviously our new Captain America. Love that. Anthony Mackie does amazing as Falcon, but he's also going to be a great Captain America. So I'm very excited to have a Captain Falcon America. So I'm excited to see what they do with him. But I am super excited to have him as it. He's a great actor. I love him a lot. Loki, the first season of Loki. On top of that, Loki season two is out at the moment. If I post this before the next the finale season comes out. If you guys aren't haven't watched season one or season two, if you guys have already watched season one, um, make sure you watch season two when the finale episode comes out this Thursday. It's about to be insane. We actually get to see more of He Who Remains, aka um timely aka king the conqueror aka there's a thousand other of these motherfuckers and i don't know who the hell is, hell is gonna be able to beat all of them but we're it's coming together but season one and season two are one of the best shows that marvel has put out right now black widow i was very excited for this to come out i'm gonna be honest it was a little bit of a letdown it was i'm gonna put this at c as well the graphics there was some issues with uh with animation graphics and all that stuff um, I do realize, uh, 
and know that Marvel teams have a very hard time of putting stuff out as fast as they are right now, which I do wish they slowed down a little bit to give the graphic team and the animation team and every team possible to be able to make the movies look good some time. They need time. I love the story of it. I did love the story of it. Same for Captain Marvel. I just don't think I can watch it again. The, the end does tie some stuff together, which I'm excited for. Next, we have the What If series. Honest to God, this was a very cool idea. Being able to, this was the beginning of when, uh, before uh, the new um, sagas coming out, showing that the stuff that's about to happen is um, anything could happen, basically. And we have the watcher in this that's watching over everything and telling the story at the same time as seeing the different stories that could potentially happen in this in the future and i think this was a great start to when loki came out and all the new movies came out as well because shit's getting crazy so what if animated series s tier super fun season two is coming out soon as well shang chi shang chi okay these were all in different orders but shang chi was the first movie to come out uh of the next saga i actually did very it was a very strong start um his hero his character is super cool the 10 rings was crazy everything that went on with that movie was honest to god a s tier start to the multiverse saga shang chi great movie watch it it's great miss marvel the show miss marvel okay with this um it was a fun show it was a fun show it was a little kiddish which is is it, it was supposed to be because miss marvel uh, Kamala Khan is a teenager. Um, she's going to be one of the young Avengers on the young Avenger team, whatever that team is called. I think it's just young Avengers. Miss Marvel was for me. I could not watch it again, but her character is super cool. Her powers are super cool. There was some issues with a lot of people had some issues with the fact that they gave her an extra power or, or whatnot, because it, I don't know exactly know what goes down deeper, but uh, Miss Marvel was a fun show. Um, it led on to some new stuff as well. Every, every movie does amazing with that. But in terms of that, uh, Miss Marvel's a C. Eternals! Okay, this one was, when this came out, everyone was confused by it because they weren't quite sure if it was good or if it was bad. I personally love the Eternals, but I will say it is only A for me. It is not top tier, but it is A. Eternals, all of the Eternals, they had amazing powers. It was super, it was a very well put together movie. Next, Hawkeye. In Hawkeye, we get introduced to another young Avenger named Kate Bishop who is Hawkeye's apprentice. This was a good show. It came out around Christmas time as well. It fit the vibe of that. It was just, uh, it was a fun show. It was a fun show. It, I'm going to put it at B only because I could, it had actually, no, I'm still going to keep it at B. I really want to bring it to A because it had Kingpin, but the only thing I think they could have done better in terms of having Kingpin in a show with you, you need to keep Kingpin as badass as he is. He doesn't give a fuck and he needs to destroy shit, kill shit, like, Kingpin's him. So, I I wish they gave more to us with that. Even though he kind of came in at the end, it wasn't the whole main point of the show. The main point was the fact that Kingpin is controlling the group that they were fighting. And there was a lot of shit going down. But, they could have done better with it. It was a great show, though. I loved it. Hawkeye, it was a good feel show. I could watch it again. Right next to WandaVision. They were good shows. Okay, next. Spider-Man No Way Home. This shit is an S-tier movie. This was fantastic. I love the way they did everything. No, ma no matter if they could have done stuff differently, I still think this was an amazing movie. You can't tell me it's not amazing. The fact that they got all three Spider-Mans in together. Freaking amazing. Amazing ass movie. They did it perfectly. Uh, that's all I'm going to say there. They got all three Spider-Mans together. Next, Moon Knight. S-tier. Moon Knight was an S-tier movie. This was the beginning of the start of when we're thinking that Marvel is going more into the mature rated content. Granite, I do wish Moon Knight did do more mature rated stuff in that show, but it did. It was on the verge of pushing the boundaries of that mature rated content, but they kept it down just because they didn't want to release it yet. For example, we have Echo coming. I just did a trailer reaction of that. Echo is going to be the first rated mature show that Disney Plus puts on directly, just like these shows. Granted, we do have Deadpool, or excuse me, we do have Daredevil, uh, Punisher, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, and all that. Um, those are rated mature, but those came from Netflix. Um, but Disney's got them now. But Moon Knight was on the verge of breaking that, breaking that mature rating, but it was, it was done right. It was done 
fantastic. My boy Oscar Isaac did amazing in Moon Knight. Not to mention he's Miguel in Spider-Verse, the second uh into the Spider-Verse. He's in that and he's also in X-Men um Days Past or I think that was the one he was in. We have Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. This was an insane movie. Um I was expecting a lot out of this, but I'm going to be completely honest with you. The first Doctor Strange is better. Multiverse of Madness though was wild we meet america chavez in multiverse of madness which again another young uh avenger uh her powers are pretty cool it's actually kind of crazy the fact that she could jump through dimensions just like that actually no fuck that no multiverse of madness is an s-tier movie that shit was fantastic they did great with the horror aspect of things in that wanda or excuse me scarlet witch scarlet witch was scary in this shit they did great with her um she was powerful as fuck not to mention, we got to see some of the beginning of Fantastic Four. If you haven't watched it, that's all I'm going to say. It was a great movie. There was a little bit of some mature rated content in that as well. And again, I'm liking when that we start to do that and Kevin's starting to do that because growing with Marvel as a kid watching Iron Man in 2008 to now in 2023, finally getting mature rated content, we're growing with the time. So I love that. Multiverse of Madness, S tier movie. She-Hulk, out of complete honesty, She-Hulk was a C tier for me. Again, I would watch it again, but I would not choose it. She-Hulk, to me, felt rushed. I don't know. I don't even know what to say. I liked it. I liked it. Um, the ending, I liked more than the whole show. When she breaks the fourth wall, uh, I like the fact that when uh, you actually get to see the characters, just like they were in the comics, uh, She-Hulk and Deadpool are the only ones that we've seen so far that break the fourth wall. So that's super cool. I did like that a lot. Um, her character is cool. Uh, the CGI in it. By the way, I was saying animation and stuff earlier. I was looking for the CGI when I do these speeches and stuff. When I have to talk, I lose brain cells for some reason. CGI, the CGI people, you guys needed, you guys deserve more time. So I am sorry that you guys have to go and get this stuff done in so little time. The CGI was questionable in She-Hulk, but I don't look at that. And all in general, I don't look at that. I look, I try to look at the show and not how CGI and stuff is because I, no matter what, I love the story. And that's why I look at when they brought Megan the stallion love some of her music, but the fact that they had her twerk in that movie was wild. I was not expecting that. Like, wow, that was not needed. That was very questionable, but I know, I know in the comics, she Hulk is down bad and for the streets. That's all I know. So I guess, <laughs> I guess when it comes to mature ratings, we're going there Thor: love and thunder. We were waiting a lot for this. The trailers were getting us hyped. We were excited. It came out and for me personally it is only a b tier movie it is a fun movie i'll watch this shit I'll, it is a fun movie don't get me wrong it's very fun uh we got a little bit of the guardians of the galaxy in the beginning with thor it was awesome that's where we left off during uh end game so we finally got to see what happened to them when they left end game together i like the part with the fact that the kids have powers it's cute it's fun but personally it felt like more of a child movie over a regular marvel movie you know what i mean so that's why i put it at b tier i still love it thor i love you bro hey this was a fun movie i watch it again it's fun just not the best wakanda forever s tier simple as that that's all i'm gonna say rest in peace chadwick boseman again the ending of this movie was crazy i'm not gonna spoil it if you guys haven't watched it all i'm gonna say is wakanda forever ibambe ibambe secret invasion nick fury's show i was very 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 excited for this nick fury finally has more content in the mcu it came out i was still excited it, it wasn't slow but i feel like there could have been so much more with nick fury and everything going on i get there was showing the fact that these guys have been uh the the scrolls have been with us for a shit ton we don't even know we don't, we don't know how long they've been here for i think secret invasion is a b tier could have been better but i would watch again the marvels this actually comes out literally in today is the sixth this comes out in five days i'm going to be watching this of course but unreleased that's what that's at predicting of how it's going to be i'm not even going to do that i'm not even going to do that because i think personally people need to stop guessing how a movie's gonna be because it just ruins it for them more personally i hate doing that shit i'm gonna give it a chance i'm gonna give it an s tier chance i give every one of these movies an s tier chance until i watch it and then i'd be honest but i think marvelous has a potential gardens of the galaxy holiday special s tier this was amazing 
holiday special. I think it was one episode. It was a vibe. Christmas time. Um, you had Kevin Bacon in it. And there's some Easter eggs in there, as usual, which Marvel's always great with their Easter eggs. Um, it was great. It was an S tier. It was it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Ant-Man and Quantumania. Excuse me, it's Ant-Man and the Wasp. I want to put it at S because of Kang the Conqueror, but I can't be biased. I think personally, we could have had a stronger start with with Kang the Conqueror, but I think they did great. I think they did great with everything. I'm not gonna complain at all about this movie. This movie had great content. Everything about it was perfect to me. It was a good movie. We got more of Ant-Man. It was a very interesting. The fact that Ant-Man was the one that started, that met King first, technically speaking, hasn't. He's not the first to meet King. But in terms of MCU and what we've seen so far in movies, he's the first. I think that was interesting having Ant-Man be the first hero to be able to defeat him. That's actually crazy. He defeat King the Conqueror. It was a great movie, but I'm not going to put it as tier just because of what I just said. Jonathan Majors is perfect. Thank God the stuff that's been going on with Jonathan Majors um, is okay. Uh, and I'm glad he is still here with us in terms of being King the Conqueror and being able to have that role. So thank you, God, for that. He is literally the perfect embodiment of King the Conqueror. You couldn't have been more perfect. Next, we have Ironheart, unreleased yet. Um, we got a little snippet of Ironheart in Wakanda Forever. Um, she's a badass genius. And she based off of her stuff uh, of Iron Man. That's pretty much everything not to mention she's probably going to be another young avengers guardians volume three i thought this movie was great i thought it was a great ending the emotions in this movie were just insane there were so many sad moments there was so many good moments it was made perfectly james gunn is fantastic he did a great job with guardians of the galaxy volume three guardians three villain high evolutionary he was an amazing villain they did him perfectly he was awesome I honest to God felt like in this movie that the high evolutionary like should have been like a bigger villain just because of the way they portrayed him. Even though he really doesn't have any powers, he was a stone cold killer. He did not care. He destroyed many planets just to make and create new planets if it wasn't perfect. That was his way of doing things. He wanted to make things perfect, a perfect planet. And as weird as it sounds, he's not exactly a villain for that, but he, I mean, you know, he is. He's killed multiple people just trying to make it his own perfect planet. Of course, we have Adam Warlock. Next, we have Armor Wars. Armor Wars is unreleased. The Ironheart will probably be in it. Uh, Colonel Rhodes, Tony's best friend, who is War Machine in this, I'm guessing. Um, and I think we're going to get a lot of, like, background stories. Tony Stark. There's going to be a lot of stuff in this. I don't exactly know what's going to be happening in this. Um, I'm not one of those channels that literally knows everything. I'm not perfect. This is going off of what I like and all the info that I know. Okay, uh, I don't know what this is. Fantastic Four. Don't need to say much about this. Um, as, as long as it's better than the solo movie that they made of Fantastic Four, um, with Michael B. Jordan. I still love you, bro. You were great in that movie too, but it just wasn't the best Fantastic Four movie. The originals are amazing. I cannot wait to see what they do with Fantastic Four because this is going to be a bomb of a fucking movie it's gonna be fantastic no pun intended uh i have not seen mutants project i have not seen oh untitled sorry i said united untitled i have not seen these i don't even know what these are um blade unreleased but they just came out today being on the sixth uh that blade is gonna be an r-rated movie so that is the second one that we've heard that's gonna be r-rated we have deadpool obviously which hoping hoping to god that that's deadpool kills the marvel universe blade movies they're goaded blade movies are amazing i am very excited to see mahershala ali play blade as well his embodiment is going to be perfect i have not seen this this is a comic uh i am groot series is s tier very cute i am groot is like to fill some spaces where we didn't have marvel content during the time and, and it's taking a little longer and we're kind of dry on marvel at the moment and i am groot comes out with these small little two three minute little shows and you have like six episodes the second season just came out and uh it's all it's amazing it's cute it's adorable we get to see baby groot go through a different different worlds and adventures and and, and such and you can't go wrong with that it's not, and that's that's an awesome watch agent carter i actually have not seen it's on my list of stuff to see on top of Agent Carter, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., I need to, I need to watch uh, Inhumans. Don't know what Cloak and Dagger is. We'll do a DYWTI. Don't know what this is. Um, I don't know what these are. 
Well, that's why I'm gonna put those there. I don't know what Hellstrom is. I don't know what Slingshot is. I've started watching Modok, but I didn't watch the, the rest of it. Wait, we did watch Agent Carter? Oh, you're right. We did watch it. I was thinking in my head that we still needed to watch that. I forgot. There was another one that we didn't watch. I think it was just we're combining the fact that we need to watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. My bad. We did watch Agent of Carter, and it was very good. Agent of Carter was fantastic. I'm not going to say it was insanely fucking good to be an S tier, but it is definitely an A tier show. Agent of Carter was really good. I'm just going to put these one shots on don't know what it is just because I'm not going to be watching those. Inferno. I don't know what that is. Moon Girl. I think that's a comic. Is that even a show? I don't know what that is. Uh, Hit Monkey. I don't know what that is. Is that a comic? I don't know what that is. Uh, Runaways. I need to watch. Wait, Electra actually has her own. Need to watch that. And then Big Hero. What the heck? Howard the Duck. I need to see. I don't know what man thing is. Moving on. We have Daredevil Netflix series. And this right here, chat. This right here, if you've not watched it, is on God. One of the best Marvel shows you will ever watch. Ever. Daredevil. And Daredevil Born Again is about to be fire. Straight fire. Top of that, Jay. On top of that, yes, Punisher competes with Daredevil. And the, the amount of closeness of how good these two shows are and how amazing these two are together in the shows is fantastic. Like, these two, for me, I, I can't pick one that's better. I love the fact of how gory and crazy and badass Punisher is. And on top of that, the same thing for Daredevil. Kingpin is in there. Like, they're, oh, dude, they're both... On God, some of the straight best fucking shows you ever watch. Watch these two. I'm not even going to say a lot about that. Daredevil, Punisher. John Bernthal, again, best embodiment of a hero, anti-hero character, Marvel character ever. The same as Killmock, like, really good. We have Jessica Jones. Okay, another Netflix original series, Jessica Jones. I want to be completely honest with Jessica Jones. You have the Defenders, which is Daredevil, Jessica Jones, and Luke Cage, and uh, Iron Fist, which those shows, I loved them all. But Jessica Jones, out of the, out of all those shows, uh, Jessica Jones was okay. It really was not the best. Uh, I, I kind of thought it was all over the place. It, it was a little bit slow and a little bit boring, and mostly just saw Jessica Jones fuck. It was not bad at all. It was very good. It was a lot. Actually, I'll give it B because it was actually good. It was good. It was just slow. Um, it's, it was something that I could definitely watch again, but I would probably have to think about it. Um, but it was really good. It was still really good, but it wasn't as crazy as Daredevil or anything else. On top of that, Iron Fist, one of the defenders as well. Iron Fist was also, I, I really liked Iron Fist. It was really good, but is one of, actually, fuck. I don't know which one's better. I personally honestly would say that Jessica Jones was better. Yeah. I think Jessica Jones was better than Iron Fist, but at the same time, Iron Fist was also fun to watch. I'm going to I'm gonna keep these two together just because they're great shows and all, but again, then again, they're not the best. Uh, with that being said, we have Luke Cage, which I'm going to go ahead and... <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and put this up at S tier for you guys real quick. I'm not going to say at all that it's nowhere near as good as Daredevil and Punisher, but it's up there. Luke Cage, season one, the villain, uh, who is Mahershala Ali who is playing Blade now, his character was amazing. His character was perfect in the first season. The second season, you have a Jamaican villain. Um, What was his name? Not Striker. I forgot that Striker was also one of Diamondback. Diamondback was a W villain. Cottonmouth was the name of Mahershala Ali's villain's character. Bushmaster. Bushmaster. Yes, Bushmaster. Bushmaster was actually one of my favorite villains in that show. He was so cool. So you had three really cool badass villains the culture in that was amazing okay i will agree with you i do feel like jessica jones was a uh, better i do feel like jessica jones was better i was being very strict with her just because it was very slow but i think everything that happened with that i think was pretty good it, it ended up being a pretty good show defenders defenders honest to god uh it, it was one of those that didn't really need to be made um but it wasn't bad but it is just one of those that it was like okay it's fun we get all four of them together for a little fun, small show. I'm going to put that at B. Um, it was okay. I watched it again, but it was okay. One of those that really didn't need to be made. We have the Spider-Mans with Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire. So really quickly, I'm just going to I'm gonna tell you guys right now. You have Spider-Man 1. 
You have Spider-Man 2. And you have Spider-Man 3. And we're going to go ahead and bring these to where they belong. Spider-Man 1, Spider-Man 2, and Spider-Man 3 with Tobey Maguire are all S-tiers. Tell me I'm wrong. Amazing Spider-Man 1 and Amazing Spider-Man 2, which, by the way, we got the new one coming. Andrew Garfield's coming back, chat. He's getting his third movie. 1 and 2 are both also S-tier movies. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, we're, they're missing one. Oh, no. Okay, so we have Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, uh, the first movie with Miles Morales animated movie. This shit was fantastic. Phenomenal. When this shit got, came out, wow. It was a masterpiece. Kingpin was amazing in it. And Across the Spider-Verse was even better. Uh, that's an S tier as well. Venom. Venom with our boy Tom Hardy. First one. I think the first Venom, in terms of what we got with the the, the badass villain. Actually, wait, no, A tier. Yeah, no, no. That's S tier. I was thinking of B and A. Yes, A tier. Venom's A tier. Same for Carnage. As as much as it wasn't as good as the original uh first Venom, it was still it was still a good movie. I watched both of those over and over again. It was a lot of fun. Morbius! Oh, let's talk about Morbius really quick, okay? Now, this is one of the best movies that Kevin Feige... Actually, Kevin Feige didn't even do it. <laughs> this is one of the best movies that Sony has ever put out in their entire life. Imagine. We're going to put Morbius where it belongs. I am actually very disappointed in Morbius because this had so much potential. Like, literally, literally has so much potential to being a good movie. And they completely wrecked it. They completely messed it up. It was so rushed. Like, while watching the movie, I didn't even have time to think about what just happened because it felt like the scene got cut off. I feel like we missed stuff of what shit should have happened. It was all over the place. Okay, original X-Men's. Oh, Oscar Isaac was in Apocalypse. Excuse me, I said Days of Future Past. That's my bad. I thought he was in that one. He's in Apocalypse, which was the most recent one. Okay, X-Men movies. Honest to God, these X-Men movies from the original to... Where we have gotten, they're all amazing. They're all, they all hit really well. I'm going to equally give all of them uh, the same rating because they're all uh, super fun movies. And I don't know, it's X-Men, man. I think they, did, they, all, they all did amazing. They all did amazing. So I'm personally going to be putting all X-Men's in with each other at an S tier. On top of that, Wolverine, real quick, Logan, immediate, immediate S tier. Logan was a masterpiece. That was amazing. And then you have these ones. These both are also S-tier movies. Wolverine is one of my favorites as well. He's fucking badass. He's super cool. Uh, Dark Phoenix was a good movie, but I, I'm going to go ahead and just put it as an A-tier just because I was sad at like, the ending and everything. I don't know. I don't know. It just felt... I don't know. It was so long. It's been so long since I watched this movie. The New Mutants. I'm going to go ahead and give it a B tier. I thought New Mutants was great. It was slow, though. It was slow, and I kind of was confused at everything that was going on. I mean, I got it, but it's one of those shows that I just felt like it It was a separate show. It didn't feel like it was a Marvel show. It, it felt like it was a separate show. But it, it is a mutant show that has to do with mutants, like X-Men. Deadpool 1 and Deadpool 2, S tier motherfucking movies. W. Ryan Reynolds. He's amazing. A again, another perfect embodiment for Deadpool. Uh, amazing movies. That's all I need to say. They're Deadpool. If you haven't watched them, I don't know what you're doing. Um, what is this? No Good Deed? It's a short film? Oh my god, we're watching it right now. A short film? I didn't know about this. See, now I'm getting excited for Deadpool. I've worked too hard in this life to let someone... Oh, you want to end up dead? Oh, no, please don't hurt me. Are you me. fucking kidding me? No, no. Not on my watch, motherfucker. Anyone die right now? Don't die! Don't look at me! Don't fucking look at me! I'm not fucking... Get away from me, Ryan! What? I love Ryan... Don't up your ass! You hold the trigger! You give me my second hold ass! Nathan Summer is coming soon. What? <laughs> the Superman music in the back. Ryan! Ryan! Put the ass away! Give me a fucking wallet! Where is the fucking wallet? Right now, where is it? Fuck! 
Bro, I love Deadpool, man. <laughs> He's so stupid, I love it. You actually speak with Laird. No? Okay. No, just tell him Wade called. Thank you. Nice suit. Zip it, Stanley. <laughs> I can see the world What? And he's dead because he took too long. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's not good. No, no, no. Oh, you're not going to walk that one off. Oh, that's so gross. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know, I, I spent way too long in the phone booth. You know, if I'm being honest with myself, I probably should have just called 911. Well, none of that matters now. Because uh, I think we're both uh, missing the real point here. <sighs> the fuck is a phone booth doing on a street corner? Didn't those disappear in 98? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I could have just used my cell. Don't you think? Ooh. Ooh. And Cherry Garcia ice cream. You gonna eat this? Don't answer now. Oh, uh, Ryan Reynolds is so good for him. Actually, I made a call to the costumer. Uh, his name is Laird. He usually helps me put the suit on. Oh, he's talking about Laird. I don't know how the other guys do it so quickly. I mean, he probably wouldn't be dead if it That's was That's funny. What does he got to change into? <laughs> Guy wears a fucking tank top and a pair of jeans. Yeah, I'd like to get my tank top on. Bit of perspiration, <laughs> a nice little. That's awesome. And then, of course, his hate for Wolverine, which we will see those two fight in the new Deadpool movie, which, by the way, is right here. Deadpool three. Um, I don't know what their picture is that they have. Someone just made up a picture, but we're putting that Deadpool short film right there. Amazing, already S tier, just like Jay said. That was amazing. Uh, S tier, S tier. Deadpool three. Haven't seen. But I'm going to tell you right now, it's already going to be put at S tier. We are almost done. I know this was a huge tier list, but uh, we're almost there. We have Fantastic Four and the second Fantastic Four movie, Silver Surfer. S tier movies. These movies are fantastic. Fantastic Four, we have Doctor Doom. Uh, and Fantastic Four, we have Silver Surfer. I think that was the main villain or was there a deeper i don't i don't remember but those two movies were fantastic okay that brings up the point when we talked about earlier with the fantastic four um you know solo movie it's it's not bad but it's one of those that's like why why kind of i i liked it in terms of it was it was a fun watch but it literally has nothing to do with anything else so I'm going to put it at C just with that because it literally was not, it did not need to be made, but I liked watching it. Big ones right here. Blade movies. The Blade movies. That was the show you were talking about, which I, I don't think I've heard good things about it. But I do need to watch it. The Blade movies are S tier automatically for me. Wesley Snipes was an amazing Blade. And that being said, Wesley, Wesley, Snipes, Wesley Snipes alone brings these movies to S tier. Not to mention, they are one of the most fun watches you can watch. They're they're great. They're great. And we have Deadpool, aka Ryan Reynolds, in uh the second one of the one of the blades. They're great movies. If you haven't watched them, watch them. Next, Ghost Riders. Might it, might I say that these are also S tier movies. I love Ghost Rider. Uh Ghost Rider's character is fucking crazy. Because I need Ghost Rider back because his movies are so badass um what else we got uh we have a daredevil is this a daredevil movie oh it's ben affleck's movie okay i need to watch that i do need to watch that i forgot that ben affleck was daredevil at one point this hulk as well is not the incredible hulk uh i think i know which one that is and i need to watch that but i've been putting it off one of those things big hero six i'm just gonna put it here i know what it is but i don't know why it's in this list um, and then the Punisher movies, I have, I have watched the Punisher movies and I'm not a big fan of them. Nothing can beat John Bernthal's Punisher. You can't, uh, I would not watch these again. It's a one-time watch for me. You literally cannot beat John Bernthal. Yeah, we tried. They're not good at all. 
Hey, the list is finally done. Here is my list. Boom. My list is fucking humongous. Go ahead and tell me in the comments if you guys think I should change anything. Um, everything's welcome. Opinions matter here. This is what I think are the best, to the worst, and everything else that I have not watched. So, uh, hey, this is the first tier list that we're going to do out of the lots in the future. So, we're going to have some fun with that. Oh, my God.